Hi everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review of the latest movie in the Conjuring universe, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. Paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren take on one of the most sensational cases of their career after a cop stumbles upon a dazed and bloodiest young man walking down the road. Accused of murder, the suspect claims demonic possession as his defense, forcing the Warrens into a supernatural inquiry unlike anything they've ever seen before. Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Jennifer and I love reviewing movies here on YouTube so if you like the sound of that then please make sure to hit that subscribe button and like and comment if you've seen the movie and let me know what you thought about it. But yeah, let's get started. So those that are subscribed know that I am a huge fan of the Conjuring movies. I love horror, it's my favorite genre and these movies in my opinion are some of the best in the horror genre and I actually do have reviews up of both Conjuring movies, I'll link those down below and I was extremely pumped for this one, one of my most anticipated of the year because I was just so intrigued when I saw that title. The Devil Made Me Do It, and I didn't know much about the case going into it, so I was just really excited to learn about it as the movie went along. And although James Wan wasn't coming back, I was still excited because Michael Chaves, he directed The Curse of La Llorona, which, although that movie isn't free of problems at all, I still really appreciate it because it looks good. I think that movie has really good, cool shots, and I was just excited to see what he would do with this one. And although definitely you can tell that this was made by somebody else, I still think it was a pretty good addition to the Conjuring universe. And I'm just happy to say that I liked the way this movie looked. I think it had some really nice cinematography and there were some moments where there were one take shots and you guys know I'm a sucker for those. I love when horror movies use those and I think here they worked effectively. And I also enjoyed some really creepy scenes and like some visual effects and some lighting and some cool lighting that was used in certain scenes, especially when we were in Arnie Johnson's point of view, who is the guy that claimed that he was possessed by the devil and that's like the whole court case and kind of basically what starts this movie. And especially towards the beginning when he kills the first guy. There was a scene there that was really cool and really scary. I just want to say that I like the concept of this movie. I think it was really interesting for them to talk about a court case and I liked some of the elements that were brought with it because there's like one scene where Ed and Lorraine are with the lawyer and I like the conversations that are had there. I do wish though it was developed a little bit more. Certain conversations that were had I thought we were gonna get more of and we really didn't and I did expect this movie to focus a lot more on the case and that might be disappointing for some people the first time I saw it, as I started seeing how the movie was going, I was like, oh, so it's not really going to focus right on the case. And we only get a few flashbacks to kind of tell us what happened, cause everything, if that makes sense. Whereas the other two movies were right in the scene. Like, we don't really know anything. It's kind of just happening as it goes. And this one is kind of just like after the demonic stuff happened, which I think is okay like I don't think it's my favorite thing I don't think it's the worst thing ever I do wish it was a little bit more focused on Arnie's case and his possession and like the family's possession I think if it focused a little bit more on that it wouldn't have been so overwhelming because the first time I saw it I will say that towards the middle they were introducing a lot of stuff and I was like okay well what is this movie really about in a sense but the second time I saw it, because I did rewatch it literally the day after, because I think this movie is so much fun and enjoyable to watch, I kind of got used to that because I already knew what I was expecting. And I understood why they were bringing so many things together because at the end it all intertwined and like made sense and went well together. But I do wish we would have focused just on Arnie's case. But I don't want to, I don't want this to discourage you guys to, into not watching the movie because I still think. The plot points that they bring are pretty interesting and like I said, this movie is really enjoyable. It gets a lot of points in my opinion for just being a good watch. I watched this with my friends and then the day after, I saw it with my mom and both times like it felt really nice to watch. It wasn't boring in my opinion and I think it's because of these characters, Ed and Lorraine, that just keep it really engaging and I gotta praise them for that. Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga are back and I love them. They're my favorite horror duo, some of my favorite horror characters ever. I love seeing them. Like I could seriously see them doing anything and I'll, I'll enjoy it. Even in Annabelle Comes Home, which is one of my least favorite Conjuring movies in the universe, I really liked when they were on screen. So I love them. I actually was even thinking as I was watching the movie, I would still love to see like a mini series with them because they have so many cases like Ed and Lorraine Warren in real life and I just love to see so much more of them. I hope this isn't the last time we see them because I would so love to just get more of them. But one of the biggest highlights of this movie is how much of the Warrens we got. I think this is the best the Warrens are. I love them in the Conjuring, in the first Conjuring and in the second Conjuring, I especially love them. That's my favorite Conjuring movie. And I still think here they just like their love was so 
good and like you really got a lot of sweet moments with them which is one of my favorite things with these movies because they're horror movies but you really get to know these characters and Ed and Lorraine we get to see like their love a lot more in this one that I just really enjoyed and a lot of the times it's basically them because in other movies there's more people involved but in this one it's mostly just led by them especially Lorraine and I really liked an obstacle that they did with Ed right at the beginning because it made the stakes that much higher and it, it was like a constant struggle that these characters were having and facing and it like led to a lot of really interesting scenes that I just really enjoyed. And I love seeing Lorraine's, like, I guess you could say powers. Like, towards the middle, there's a really cool scene. I really like that scene. I obviously won't go into depth because I'm not spoiling in this review, but it's cool. There were a lot of moments also where, like, there were some comedy in there, which I also thought was really good. I like when these movies have a little bit of comedy, so it works. I love these characters, so literally anything they do, I'm like keep doing it. I will say though, one thing that I think this movie lacked was the sense of family because in the previous two movies, and I know I'm comparing them a lot, but like it's a trilogy, so I'm gonna keep doing that. We really are in the scene with them. Like we get to see the family go through these things. We get to see the family's habits. And I've always really liked that those movies do that. And in this one, it's very much focused on Ed and Lorraine. And the family is kind of put to the back end like there was a moment towards the end where like they showed a scene of arnie and i'm like oh wait yeah i forgot these people are in the movie because like i just think they had so much going on and i wish we would have just gotten to see more of arnie and the little boy and his girlfriend and like just the family that he was in because like i said this movie's afterwards i still cared about arnie thought the guy did a really good performance and i genuinely was scared for him i cared for him but still like there was no bad performance here by any means i still enjoyed these characters and i also like some flashbacks that we did get i love the content and i love how it adds to the characters but they use this filter that i'm just like not the biggest fan of that's like a little nitpick though so it doesn't it literally doesn't affect the movie at all and how scary is this movie because obviously it's a horror movie people are wondering how scary it is and i personally don't think it's scary it's scary i think if you were scared by the first or the second which rightfully so those movies are pretty scary i think you'll be fine in this one and this one although it has scary elements it's not like super scary in my opinion like i was fine honestly i still think there were some good scares and i think the director really continued that trend that the jump scares weren't fake i like the jump scares on this one i don't remember any that were like fake because those trigger me so much the opening of this movie was terrifying and the third act was also really scary because like with the villain that they like bring in there's a lot of interesting scenes with the villain and it's like scary it wasn't scary in the sense that i wouldn't be able to sleep at night and especially with the obstacle that they like talked about it, it was just a lot like i think they did a really good job at setting up the stakes and it paid off because i think the third act was really cool in this movie and the villain in this movie was all right not my favorite not my least favorite i have my issues with the villain like i never fully understood why the family was being targeted they kind of literally have a line that says the why isn't important which i think is a little bit lazy just a little bit. I think it was still fun to see Ed and Lorraine like go against this villain thing but I do think it's the weakest villain out of the first two conjurings. Nonetheless, although this movie isn't perfect, I still think it's extremely entertaining and I already want to watch it again and I've seen it twice. I think it's a lot of fun. Ed and Lorraine are their best here. Their performances are pretty good. It has some good scares and I think if you enjoy the other conjuring movies, this one, although it's my least favorite out of the first three conjuring movies, I still think it's good and not a lot of trilogies and just franchises can say that i'm gonna give this movie a b it's just a really entertaining horror movie and i enjoyed it and if you guys have seen the movie please let me know what you thought about it down below because i'd love to hear it and yeah that's pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check my description for a bunch of links to my social media and my second youtube channel and i'll make sure to see you guys in the next review have a great day guys bye